Hello again, everybody. Today is going to be our first episode of a new series called Spirit Mail. It's where we unbox spirits that we receive in the mail. Uh, um, we received. Yeah. More like I had to sign for and receive. Well, when I'm at, at work, sometimes you have to sign for packages. What's wrong along with that? But just as like a little preview of things that are going to be showing up on our channel in the future, I figured it'd be fun to unbox these and she doesn't even know what we're getting, so it'd be a surprise for her too. What's in the box? What did we get? Hey, you're gonna feel if it's another box. Classic FedEx. <laughs> eh, it wouldn't really be FedEx, it'd be the seller. But it's not. Quite. Car do. Oh, you spoiled it because they broke down the boxes. <laughs> I spoiled it. Alright. So, they broke down the boxes, but let's start with. Let's move the box over. What a funny looking whiskey bottle. Let's start with this guy. Nika Whiskey from the Barrel. There's not much to read on this label for you. No. Um, just the whiskey. Go ahead and tell me what these say. I have no idea. <laughs> what, what is the proof? The alcohol percentage. Fit. 51.4% alcohol. Correct. 51.4 ABV. Totally wasn't going to read the 750 milliliters. 750 ABV. <laughs> That's not even, even possible. All right. So, for the Seven. next thing in the box, Cardu 12 year. That's an interesting bottle. Bottled at 40%, which is the minimum. But, something that we haven't had yet, so... Something a single there. malt scotch whiskey. That is indeed what it is. Now, what else is in the box? Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Cardboard. Alright. What is this? What is that? Baines. Baines what? Cape Mountain Whiskey, distilled and bottled in South Africa? Uh, yeah, that's pretty different, isn't that's it? That's different. What's the ABV on that? 43%. You want to read the little blurb on the side? Bain's Cape Mountain Whiskey is uniquely doubled, matured, resulting in an exceptional interaction between spirit and wood to produce a mix of toffee, Floral and vanilla. Oh, I'm reading the tasting notes. Oh, well. <laughs> and You'll flavors forget. with a hint of spice softened by oak undertone. You'll forget by the time we do it. Sounds interesting. Want to read that side? It seems to have put information on all the corners. Ooh. With every sip, you'll experience the taste of almost 130 years of art of distilling, awarding, award winning. Spirits using Cape Mountain water. <laughs> I'll read the next side. Bain's Cape Mountain Whiskey celebrates the craft of distilling high quality spirits inspired by South African pioneers. This distinctive whiskey is produced at the James Sedgwick Distillery, which dates back to early 1886. Situated in the foothills of the Bain's Kloof Pass on the Berg River in Wellington, South Africa. And this is a 100% corn whiskey made from corn that is 100% grown in South Africa. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Now, the last one is what I'm most excited for. I don't know how excited Brianna will be for it, but it's this. Springbank cast strength, age 12 years. Campbelltown single malt scotch whiskey. 
56.2 alcohol. Yeah. What does it say on the back there? S Spring Bank sing Single Malt Whiskey is free of artificial coloring. Also, it is not chill filtered. This will cause a slight natural haze to form when it's cold, but this will disappear when the temperature returns to normal. So, here is what we got, what we received in, in this package. Nika from the barrel, Cardu 12 year, Baines Cape Mountain whiskey, and Spring Brink 12 cast strength. We hope you look forward to seeing these on our channel sometime in the future. You should uh, post them in the comments and have people like which one they want to see first. Yeah, I could do that. Well, we hope you have a good night. And that's what we got.